it's good to have somebody like kind of let you know objectively, this is what I'm seeing and this is really excellent. Just the best way to think about it is like what is really best for the students and how can you really challenge yourself to understand how you can grow. You know, like sometimes we can just become very comfortable in our practice, even after a short amount of time. And I think that evaluation systems will cause us to keep challenging ourselves to think about what's best for our students. And, and that's the whole purpose. Um, and then at the same time, you know, with things where, you know, you may, um, you may need a little bit of work on. Um, for example, last year, um, uh, my second master educator um, came in and um, one thing was, you know, I didn't hear it was a math lesson. Um, and she said, you know, I heard um, a lot of great uh, questioning. The kids were definitely very engaged. but. I didn't hear enough of you asking the children, you know, how they arrived to their answer. Um, and so that was something that I, you know, kind of made sure I was doing. One of the good things about impact is that in 15 days, you have an opportunity to sit down with that evaluator again and you go through step by step by step on what they saw, what your rating is. You actually have an opportunity if you can defend what you're doing, if you got a two on something, and you really said, well, no, I, I actually got a four on that, you have an opportunity to have your, have your score adjust and adjusted. And I don't think that's, I, I think that's where the fairness comes in at. So when you, when you see that you've done something correctly, and the master educator may not have seen it that way, or your principal may not have seen it that way, there is room to be able to change. For example, this year, um, my second evaluation, um, my master educator, um, kind of you know noted that it, what I was using on the smart board wasn't very clear and the people the students in the back of the classroom may have not been able to see that and the reason why is because in the afternoon the sun you know it hits the west side of the building and it kind of sends a glare on my smart board so it wasn't my fault we talked it through and she was able to change it so there are a lot of things that you're able to kind of you know hash out with your master educator during the debrief session um, and then if that does not um, if you're not successful and you guys aren't really meeting um, you know a happy medium um, the next step would be to go to your principal and discuss that um, and then they contact somebody um, as long as they as long as they understand where you're coming from and they agree with what you're saying mm -hmm.